Good morning, Retro. My name is Nate, and today we are going to be talking about cave games, not caveman games on the NES. But cave shooters. Now, if you've never heard of cave shooters, that's perfectly okay. I am pretty new to cave shooters. A few years ago, I put together an arcade build and I reached out to the community just to see what type of games I was missing, what type of games I should be adding to my Raspberry Pi. And a guy that actually watches this channel reached out to me and said, Nate, you need to check out cave shooters. Now I had no idea what he was even talking about, but once I did some research, it was a genre that blew me away. It is a bullet hell, shoot 'em up type game, and I typically run away from those. They're difficult, they look intimidating, they just look manic that you don't know what to do. And actually, what kinda deterred me from playing those games started to attract me to those games. So I put them uh, on my Raspberry Pi because it wasn't gonna cost me anything. I wanted to try them out. And I had so much fun. The visuals are incredible. The difficulty is incredible. The sprites are amazing. The visuals, all the colors, all of the, the power-ups, all of those things just drew me into this genre of game. And I just really, really enjoy playing them now. So Cave has been around a long time. They have perfected that shoot 'em up cute 'em up genre. And they've been around since 1994. They're still putting games out today and a lot of these classic arcade games that they were putting out in the mid to late 90s are now being ported over to new gen systems there's some bundles out on xbox 360 xbox one playstation 4 but they are definitely going to cost you a pretty penny there's a cave shooting bundle on xbox 360 that is skyrocketing in price right now so before you make that investment into the bullet hell world, make sure that you do some emulating first to make sure you even like that genre. So you've learned a little bit about Cave, you learned about what they do. When we come back, I'm gonna talk about some of the games that you need to check out. Ah, uh, that's my nephew Scruff reading that comic book. Improving my mind. Give me your magic zapper and I'll improve your mind. Hey, that's me! Look inside. It's about the adventures you have coming home from school. Uh-oh. It gives tips on what to do about bullies, finding drugs, or trouble on the bus. And it shows what happens to Scruff. What happens? What happens? You'll see. For your free copy, write McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652, and help me take a bite out of crime. <laughs> Ground ripping Roadhog, crash that on, and the riders go flying. Launch them, and the ejector seat sends them sky high. Six cool bikes, six bad riders, collect them all. And the crash and smash that place three ways. Super single crash, side by side, head to head. They crash, they smash. Crash and smash bikes and sets sold separately. Set comes with one bike. I will lead the way. Last one to Tiny's Diner buys lunch. Take the micro machines, highways, and byways. I'll take the shortcut to Colonel Cobb's farm. The corn's growing, and I'm going. I'll cruise through the highways and byways. Wildcat Canyon. Gotta be brave in this cave. Oh no! Drawbridge is up. I'm stuck. Tough luck. Tiny's Diner. Next stop. Well, you gotta get there fast. Take the micro machines, highways, and byways. That's my train, but he'll pay. Think big, play small. Micro machines. New micro machines, highways, and byways. Play sets and vehicle collections sold separately. You put it together. All right, I'm back and I am ready to talk about some cave shooters you need to check out. So there's a lot of well-known cave shooters, Dodon Pachi being one of them. I wanted to pick some of the strange shooters that might attract you a little bit more than the traditional shoot 'em ups And so the very first one that I wanted to share with you is Gawange. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but Gawange. So this was published by Atlas in 1999. And this is such a unique, strange shooter where it's not an aerial battle by any means, it's a battle on the ground. So it has a screen that is scrolling just in unique directions, not a traditional vertical 
a shoot 'em up, but it, it scrolls vertical, horizontal, diagonal. It's a visually intense game, and so it's it's definitely graphically strong. Uh, I would not recommend children playing this game by any means. It is extremely, extremely difficult, and overall just very difficult to concentrate on the visuals that are happening behind all of the bullets and shooting and stuff like that. But it is definitely worth checking out. It's a weird experience. So weird that, I don't want to spoil it, but at the very end, you end up battling this weird baby. It's super creepy, super strange. Worth checking out. I believe it was ported on the Xbox 360 as well. The second game I want to talk about is Dagon Feveron. This was published by Nyon Systems in 1998. So you operate a spacecraft shooting down enemies all while jamming out to a disco soundtrack. I said disco, you know, staying alive. That's exactly what I was talking about. A disco soundtrack. And it has definitely that disco feel all the way through. It has just interesting visuals. It has that music that just keeps you playing. And it's just so bizarre, so strange, extremely over the top, but it has such a fun, unique scoring system that just keeps you coming back over and over and over again. This game was ported onto the PS4 and Xbox One, I believe in 2016. So that one is worth checking out. Finally, I wanted to save the strangest game last. So this last game is Mushi Mushi Pork. Mushi Mushi Pork, so strange. It's published by AMI. Uh, released in 2007. So who doesn't like to play as pig girls riding flying motorcycles all while pedaling in the sky? Yeah, I said that all correctly. This is a cute em up It's all about shooting things, collecting metals. It's so strange. There's parachuting pigs that are coming down that you're shooting. It's so bizarre and over the top. It's so cute. So you just get drawn into that visual effect and it just keeps you playing. This one was ported on the Xbox 360. Again, that's probably in the cave bundle that is extremely, extremely expensive. But those are three cave shooters that you definitely have to add to your arcade build, your emulating, whatever you're doing, you definitely want to add that to your library. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're following Good Morning Retro on all of the social medias and I will catch you guys later. See ya.